Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2013, and I have the pleasure of being here with Dave Varman. How are you, Dave? I'm doing great. I ran into you guys, Fulton Innovation, maybe 2008, 2009. The whole idea of wireless charging was still kind of in its infancy. What's changed since then? Well, we've really taken the concept of people thinking wireless power is impossible to driving it to actually the controller chips, the infrastructure, the, uh, um, the coils and the parts to where anyone can go buy the parts from DigiKey now and put them in products. There's what you just nailed, you just hit the nail on the head. Anyone can go, any hobbyist, any hacker at home can go and just buy it off DigiKey. That's huge. How do you get to a point where like, I mean obviously you guys are like working with the Wireless Power Consortium. There's been several different technologies. How do you get to that point where your technology gets implemented in such a way that any hobbyist can now use this? Well, for us it's been a tremendous amount of work because we've had to prove this technology with automotive companies with all the major OEMs like Motorola, Samsung, HTC, um, Nokia, and now, they, now they've implemented it using one of our partners called uh, Texas Instruments. So getting it into a chipset that, that they can just sell that anyone can buy, that's been the process. And it's been a long process getting it proven, getting it implemented, and, and solving all the problems so that it, it, the typical hobbyist can actually implement it. That is a great line to say. Be able to say one of our, uh, tech, you know, one of our partners, Texas Instruments. Um, so, so con congrats on that. Where has the technology been improving, and and how far has it come in the last couple of years? Sure. So when we first started, we had to prove it as a power supply, and everyone was looking at doing it in the simplest, the most basic way. And what we've done since then is expanding it so that it has a further range. Now you can mount it underneath a table, for example, um, expanding the, the tablet size so you can have a single coil but now charge, you know, many devices. And then the next range of it is actually going from low to medium power and being able to uh, um, switch between and have multiple low and medium power devices on one surface and not worry about what devices go where because you want that to be seamless, I want that to be seamless. And so what would a medium power device be? Um, a laptop, our medium power pretty much goes from 5 watts to 120 watts. That's awesome. Now when you start going up in wattage, do you, what, what's the challenge there? Do you get bigger coils or, or does it have to be closer to each other or what, what's the challenges there? No, so the challenge is I mean, we're doing a vehicle where we have uh, over six inches of spatial freedom and we're able to charge at kilowatts. So the real challenges are more about safety, robustness. Um, a laptop, for example, when it spins up the drive, the quad core kicks in and the display lights come on all at the same time. Um, really dramatic power supply changes. And so your control has to be very fast in order to handle that. I hadn't thought about that because it's saying, you know, as opposed to like traditionally wired power, you don't have to really think about the fact that, you know, if you can supply me three amps at 19 volts and I just ask for it, you're going to give it to me, right? So you actually have to have a controller that changes what, the oscillation of, of the energy through these coils or how does that work? So we're actually changing um, the amount of power that's transferred and at times the tuning of that you know, in order to make sure that we're, we're staying consistent with what the device needs. So there's a variety of different things we can change in order to do that. And the control system makes those up on the fly. It determines what are the best levers to control. So you had mentioned safety. I want to know, has it been difficult when it comes to the regulatory stuff? I mean, you've got to get UL and FCC and all of those other things to be able to bring this to market, to be able to have like a Texas instrument put together a package that, you know, any OEM can uh, implement in their products. How has that been? So it's actually been pretty fun because what we've done in the Wireless Power Consortium and what we've done e-coupled for the Wireless Power Consortium is we provide transmitters that can work in automotive. So the, the real regulatory issues are what does automotive want and what are their regulatory standards and what does the home want and what does the, you know, what does the office want and what are all these different, like the furniture manufacturers. So providing a technology that's versatile enough to be able to have to meet, to have and to meet all the regulatory requirements and all those different uh, infrastructure requirements, that's been the fun thing. And if you look across to, from the Wireless Power Consortium booth, um, you'll see that we've done that in every one of those spaces. So you guys haven't tackled uh, medical yet, and I'm sure that's a lot more fun. So we actually have, but medical's longer, right? So some of the things that we've done in medical is actually making coils that actually go in your vein. So an intervenial sensor that will actually monitor your, your um, blood pressure and your blood flow. 
So I could literally lay down in bed and dock at night. That's pretty much it, yes. My mind's blown. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, it's been a true pleasure, and I wish you guys the best. Um, so for anyway, for continued coverage of all things CES, uh, be sure to head over to revision3.com. I'm going to get myself juiced up here. NPR has a great public radio app that is compatible with Ford Sync AppLink. This means that when you're in your car and you're on the go and you don't want to touch your phone, you don't have to. You have all your favorite playlists, all your favorite NPR shows right on your phone, ready for voice commands. Hourly News. I'm Louise Schiavone. House Republican leaders are challenging So the if you want to listen to your favorite shows like Morning Edition and All Things Considered, you just have them right there in your new Ford car. Thank you again to Ford for sponsoring this Hack 5 CES special.